really close right now. Uh, so now that we've got over how to assess, we're going a little out of order here, but how to assess and how to uh, how to break up um, some of the tightness in your hip. We're actually we're gonna go over some stretches for the hip flexor also. The classic hip flexor stretch is just a simple kneeling hip flexor stretch. And you just put your foot down, make sure everything's in line. I, I contract my glute, I contract my abs, and I just pull forward on that hip flexor. And this, this is gonna get um, a lot more psoas and TFL, um, but this is just kind of a general hip flexor stretch. If we wanna increase the stretch a little bit more, okay, so, we're gonna get on a box, and we're gonna put one foot down, one foot up, and we're just gonna, again, contract that glute, contract your abs, and just pull forward. Uh, you probably also get some uh, a hamstring in this too, but the, the emphasis is to keep the same tilt at your, um, of your hip the entire time, and that'll get more, uh, more of a stretch to your hip flexors. Then we can also go to a wall, And uh, this is gonna, so we're, if, if we want to target the rectus, which is, if, if you start testing hip flexors on a lot of people, the rectus is one of the main, uh, one of the very often times the culprit. So we get against the wall, have, let have something to hold on to for balance, and we're gonna pick up the back foot, and again, contract the glute, contract the abs, rock forward, and that's gonna hit that, the top of that quad, that, 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 uh, that rectus femoris right there. Um, then we can also, if we want to get into psoas and TFL again, just come to the wall, keep, keep a good posture, ab, abs, and, abs and butt, abs and ass, whatever you want to say, and pull that hip flexor forward so from the other side. I'm just pulling on that hip flexor right there, and the best time I'm keeping my, my pelvis in the same alignment as before. So that's four different stretches we can do for the hip flexor really quick to loosen them up. You can make any of them into a dynamic. I would definitely prescribe the rectus for more stretch. Um, and it's just rear foot elevated hip flexor stretch, is what we call it. And just simple against the wall, pull it in. Otherwise, you can turn it around, pick it up against the wall, pull it at the end. You can also turn your toe up. Post workout stretch, you get a little extra work that way. So, there's some stretches you can do for your hip.